Joining us now, attorney Stephen J.J. Wiseman, professor at Bentley University. Stephen, there is lots to talk about. As always, you have your, metaphorically speaking, your fingers on the pulse of the Internet and these hackers. Uh, you've got some breaking news in terms of shopping and some, uh, some uh, folks who might be out to, to wreck the holiday spirit here, do you not? Yes, before we even, you know, get into Sony, uh, we're gonna, which is today's news and a really important piece of news because it's so much more important than Sony. National security really is in jeopardy here and this just uh, shows it. But uh, on another matter which hasn't been getting reported very much and we're doing it here, here first, the FBI has recently sent out a confidential memo to retailers around the country of Iranian hackers who are intending to uh, do major data breaches at retailers and frankly I'm not sure that all the retailers are up to the challenge so you're hearing the warning here first we'll probably be hearing about the destruction within a few weeks. Stephen, you mentioned Iran. Some people are questioning whether or not North Korea could have possibly have done this alone and are even suggesting that Iran played part in this. Is that unreasonable? To no, it's, that? it's, yeah, it, you know, Miranda, that actually is something that uh, does have some air of possibility and truth in there because this type of sophistication, North Korea is pretty good, but this brings it up to a whole new level which more or less you've only seen with Iran, China, or Russia. However, they also put this kind of malware out there that people uh, are able, and rogue countries are able to use. So it is certainly a possibility. But a funny thing about it is this sophisticated malware, one thing that people are often missing is it's not so much just the developing it, but how do you get it into the computers of Sony? And this is done generally by, and it appears here, you get a spear phishing attack on a small administrator who has access. And by spear phishing, an email directed to that person that lures them and fools them into clicking on a link that downloads the malware. And so this is where a lot more attention should be focused by our government, which suffered thousands and thousands of data breaches last year, many of which people aren't even aware, and industry to stop their employees from clicking on links in emails. And this is an important distinction because there's been also speculation, Stephen, that uh, perhaps they had a spy, somebody inside, but you're saying just an, in, uh, an email for one person could open uh, the metaphorical Pandora's box across the entire computer system there at Sony. Yeah, absolutely, and I think one reason why there was this conjecture about an insider is the very fact that it was probably the credentials stolen by that uh, by the the hackers who I still believe uh, were connected to North Korea. And the thing is, we often don't even think about it. A lot of organizations will have uh, have their employees. They'll be up on uh, LinkedIn, for example, uh, social media, and the hackers could go on see different email addresses from people within the same company find out the protocol for how they set up their corporate emails send an email that appears to be coming from a higher up administrator that can fool the lower administrator into responding and clicking on the links Wow, uh, mm. email impersonations or forgeries that's that's a, a diabolically ingenious way to get things done and Stephen JJ Weissman we appreciate your expertise uh, something we hope to talk to you more about as America's Forum continues on a very busy Friday. Our thanks to Stephen J.J. Weissman, yeah, a man of many talents, professor, attorney, and a guy who seems to know the minds of the hackers as well as the technology. We're coming back with more.